It's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Yeah. I'm Nazo. I'm Ari. And it's your yeah. weekly dose. Of Ari and Nazo. Hey. <laughs> On so today's we, episode, we are talking about the same thing, love matter now. Five have, signs that he or she loves, loves you. you. Doesn't love you, but you think they do. Ah, doesn't love you, yeah, but you think, so think they, they do. do. They don't want to meet your family or friends or friends. See, I always tell people, you don't have to force your partner to want to meet your family or your friends. It's something that should come naturally. The moment you're forcing them, you need to have everything. At the very least, your siblings first, mm -hmm. right? That's like just... Because some, some guys, I would say this, I've seen it more with guys. You know as a guy, you don't like mm -hmm. this girl, but you've given her that illusion that you love her. So maybe she says, oh, meet my siblings. They always have an excuse. It's like they have a catalog. There's somewhere they put them. So as you're saying this one, they have an excuse. There's always an excuse. So if I if you find yourself doing that one, two times, and you say, okay, it might be genuine, but for me, I prefer just stay back. Let it come from them. Because the more you're pushing, it now look like, okay, are you forcing, are you the one forcing them to meet your family and stuff? So I was going to say, what if you like suggested, like, what's good? Would you want to meet my friends? I mean, my family. Uh, yeah. And they might probably say yes when it comes to that time. Something comes up. Something always comes oh, up. Wow. Okay. Something always comes up. There can be traffic in their bathroom. You know, people. All these weird excuses come up. What the heck? Because they don't want that level of commitment. But now. which one is traffic in the bathroom? Uh, one. That's the weird thing. Yes, <laughs> <It's for people. laughs> Because they're not be like, oh, this happened, this is why I can't come. That thing happened, that's why I can't. There's always an excuse not to meet with family and friends and. Sometimes you might just take it out, oh, okay, yes, this is actually going on. Meanwhile, the guy or the girl doesn't want that level, or maybe they're not ready. Because that, maybe they don't even love you, or they're not ready for that level of commitment yet. Hmm. But I believe for someone to say they want you to meet their siblings, that means either you've said it, or you've shown them that you, you are for that level of commitment before they would even think of suggesting it. Mm -hmm. Relationship-wise, yeah. which one is their opinion doesn't matter. If you're dating somebody, mm -hmm. That person's opinion has to matter. So you should know from the beginning that, that person doesn't not that some, you say he loves people, you, but he doesn't. People, some people don't know. That's see don't, that one is basic see, though. After most of the time, say speak for yourself. There are people that they will oh, take it wow. out. It's just normal. Let's say, okay, maybe the guy is going to stop or the girl when he tells you and I don't think he still goes ahead and does what he wants to do. So what's the point that's my opinion? Or oh, he has already done what he wants to do or what she wants to do that they are coming to tell you. It's like you've already made a decision. Why are you like they just want to me? different mm. and they want to give you a price of certain see mm. there's some things i can understand yeah mm. maybe you needed to make a decision in that moment at that point in i time, can understand right? that too. Uh, hey, but they're just telling you after like i ah, see what happened mm. uh, see what happened what if you say they already they want to do something they have enough time but whatever you they don't you don't uh, and they've calculated the odds and they say okay this one is is, mm. is gonna work right uh, that is uh, a communication issue because okay you've been in that situation whereby the person is not communicating mm -hmm. they won't you don't know Maybe the only thing that like they open up to you, you know a lot is going on in this person's life, but the only thing that they open up to you is just the fact that you are their partner. That ends any other thing are like outside of that um outside the confines of the relationship, your off limits. Even if you, you or less maybe somehow, somehow you find out their partners are even say they don't know they are this one wants to jack the guy or the girl wants to jack her or this one is happening or that and you just you wake up one day and that one is not a relationship <laughs> that one is always a big reference whether the guy loves you or not whether the girl loves you or not make sure you guys I know, know what you're doing like this. make sure you know what you're doing you both of you define it because i know somebody like this uh, okay now you know the one person wants to define the other person is just dragging if you know yourself, uh -uh. and I'm pretty certain that you do, if, define your relationship. If I'm, okay, let's say I'm talking to the girl, and I ask you, and you say you need time. I, I'm the kind of guy I don't want, I don't like going with the flow. That that's even even annoys me. I don't like. Let's say how it goes. What do you want? Let's know. Okay, what we are doing. So if I'm doing it, let me know what we are doing. But the moment I ask you first, ask you second, and you're dragging your feet, I clock out. Oshé. Immediately because Oshé. I, I factory worker. <laughs> We clock up bitches. Let's I go. Why should I be wasting my time with you? When it, it, what it shows me is that you are indecisive for me. 
what do you think that okay this person is indecisive you don't know what you want or maybe i'm just an option for you um, you just need me there before so one or maybe to satisfy some certain needs but you're not full, you're not ready to like say okay let's make this work so most people, most guys are girls like let's see how it goes let's from let's see how it, let's see how it goes you guys say you're not dating you've done everything that has to do with relationship but you guys are all i, I trust you guys you're still going to see let's you're still seeing how Please, it goes excuse me, call them by their names no i'm, I'm say gen z call them no, by their I don't names have any, you should be gen z I don't have any issue with them. They're well, just talking. They don't that, they don't that, that relationship. Money is that at the end Everybody's of the day. Everybody's always talking. Money is that at the end of the day. Let nobody come and cry that uh, they broke my heart. Because I will tell you, you broke your heart to yourself. Manu. Because the moment you're not defining it, that means anything can happen now. Intimacy, not just the sexual aspect, but you guys don't have that connection. You don't talk. I don't know if, how, if I'm phrasing this correctly. You don't really have that connection between the both of you where okay you talk about stuff you know know this person everything they keep at surface level is basically no because let's say you visit them how are you how was your journey give you food give you a drink then it's next place and chill <laughs> nothing there's no other there's no other level of intimacy because at that point meant you have your have yourself what is the intimacy it's like deep connection and yes. conversations yeah, conversations like... because when you have i feel when you are at the point where you're asking yourself oh is this what am i doing or is this person really does this person really want to be with me then you should back out you should, i feel you should take a step back and actually look at the relationship from a third party point of view because i believe that's when you see things clearly because once this person is not being intimate with you but the person wants you around you basically they are plaything when they are bored or when they are tired like oh, okay this person is there let me just use this one to play and satisfy myself and this person goes because you always have that doubt in your mind because you it's don't know where you stand people like this, <laughs> but it's fine sure let's be going well they avoid you they ghost you they avoid you you don't get to see them when Ex you want to again. see them can i just say yeah. that's not a relationship and you would think this person people, loves people you. Would no! <laughs> well, Nepa has done what they Nepa do best. They do best. <laughs> but this video will continue. Moving on. So, like I said, uh, they avoid you or they ghost you. I want to see you. They are not around. Or, like I said in one of our videos, the only, the only time you come, you don't even come to the house weekends, it's weekday because they have the main person coming over weekends. So, <laughs> you have you have Monday to Friday to do your thing. And you want to see them, they are not available. Right? But when they need you, they need you to be available there. But once you are, okay, I want to see you. And next week, they are too busy or they are going to see their family or their cat just died. All of these excuses will come. But somehow, or maybe they just disappear for a long period of time and all of a sudden, they just call you back. You have this back and forth thing with them. I mean, that's a situation. For people, that's yeah, a relationship. For people who do that, I, I actually ask them, don't, don't you have any more to come of pride in yourself to actually... Do? Talk to yourself and say, man, I can't continue putting myself through this. But, well, shout out to you if you are going through that and you're happy. Jesus it's, be your glory, yeah. That's a good These are, If you look at these five signs, once you notice one, sometimes it might be genuine, but in Nigeria, I really doubt it, though. <laughs> I really doubt it. People are too busy, but you still make time for that person you love. Relationship. That's not... Because when people tell me they are too busy... You can't ghost in a relationship. That doesn't When people tell me they are too busy, you're too busy, but you have time to have your bath, brush your teeth, go to the toilet. If you feel pressed, you go. A little text message <laughs> would, do, would go a long way, but anyway, that's it. If you're in that kind of situation, you need to reevaluate yourself and like call it a relationship now. The situation or relationship you find yourself, not with the person you like your own self, decide if, okay, if you're going to continue or not anyway guys that's it from us please like share subscribe i will see you in another video another video